Hi, so I'm KB with Nerdifiles. How are you? Hey, KB. I love your backdrop. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, So let me dive right in. You know, Tommy Egan is still dealing with a lot of grief. And, you know, now he's really out on his own by himself. So can you tease a little bit about the evolution of Tommy Egan that we'll see on on Power Book 4 Force? And, you know, does kind of like life's lessons soften him or harden him even more, you think? You know, I, I, I don't, I never thought about hardening or softening of the character. I just made sure that I stuck true to the character and that the character doesn't change, even though the environment and the situations change. And I think that that's the exciting part for the audience is actually to be, see the change from the outside in. So the, the environment is going to change how the inside deals with these things. Now we've seen Tommy go from being the right hand man to ghost, to being the equal to ghost, to now being without ghost, his brother for all intents and purposes. And I always say that Tommy is two parts Canaan, two parts ghost. Mm -hmm. Um, So he can bop on the block, but he's also now thinking two steps ahead. So now he's in a new environment and it's outside of New York City. So he is a fish out of water. We've expanded the power world into the power universe because we're outside the five boroughs. Um, And we'll see Tommy if he can survive. And if he does survive, um, how? How does he survive in a place that should be New York, but it's not? So we have to see how uh, Tommy, the character that we know and love, operates as himself in a new place. Well, listen, you know, Tommy will always survive. And what I actually just told Gabrielle in the other interview, I was like, listen, Tommy managed to do a whole lot of damage in 30 minutes. So, you know, I'm like, (laughs) anything is possible with Tommy. But you're right, because he's in a new city and he doesn't naturally trust a whole lot of people. You know, what can you share about who unexpectedly becomes an ally for him this season? I think his allies come in the most unexpected places for him. I think that he finds allies when he's not looking for allies. And when he's looking for allies and to go in, I think that most of the time he finds out that these, that these are more duplicitous than he would have thought. Um, you know, people often think of Chicagoans as very upfront, um, but we're going to find some Chicagoans who are not as upfront, who are great at pretending to be upfront and showing a true dichotomy within the boundaries of the city. Ooh, I like that. Listen, because you, I always feel like, in my personal opinion with Tommy, you always know what you're going to get. Like, I actually appreciate how direct Tommy is, but it will be nice to see some other characters who are kind of hiding some additional layers that we get to kind of see, you know, are they really on Tommy's side or are they doing, are they doing their own thing and they need him for something? Look no further than the character you just mentioned of Gloria played by Gabrielle Ryan. She's going to have a lot of little secrets that are popping out here and there and uh, a lot of twists and turns that are going to put Tommy in very precarious situations. Ooh, well, I cannot wait to see it. You know, I really enjoyed the first episode and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. So thank you so much for chatting with Nerdifiles. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, KB. All right. Have a good day. See ya.